Hello. My name is Amigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Just kidding. It's me, Emily Gunma, otherwise known as Egg, here to answer some questions about my nomination for Game Master of the Year award. But I bet I really had you thinking I was a character from a classic movie, didn't I? No? Okay, well, hello. My name is Emily Gunlock, otherwise known as Egg, here to answer some questions for my nomination for Game Master of the Year Awards. I work at Escape Hour Austin in Austin, Texas. All right, let's get started. Number four, what's your favorite phrase to say while game mastering? Well, I have two favorite phrases, really. One of them just kind of comes naturally whenever I'm game mastering, and the other one is actually part of a script. I'm going to tell you both of them and let you guess in the comments which one is the natural one and which one is scripted. Number one, <clears throat> they're so smart. Number two, all right, go down in the comments. And number two, what are some of your favorite code names to use while GM? Well, Lord and Savior and Ghosty God are both some good ones, but these are less than code names and more so just identities attributed to me naturally. Number six, who is your favorite customer? Well, I love all my customers, of course, but Eleanor and Eva have a special place in my heart, not only because they are just as crackheaded as I am, but because all our names start with E. If you could give one suggestion to your players, what would it be? If your puzzle is spelling out the word beef, you are probably doing it wrong. Or maybe not. Number seven. What do you tell players who want a clue? Well, I keep it completely professional, of course. Hey guys, remember that if you want a clue, you're gonna have to ask Joe. Who's Joe? Number five. What's a must have during GMing for you? Water! Of course. Stay healthy, kids. Number three. What has been a weird or memorable experience while game mastering? Well, I had this one young woman who wanted to eat the wax off of the fake candles in our experience. Don't worry, I didn't let her. She also spent most of the game on the floor running in a circle. I miss her. Number eight. Do you play escape rooms? And if so, what is your favorite? Well, I play a few escape rooms. By far my favorite is when I'm trying to leave work at the end of my shift. We have a fun little puzzle where you have to use some kind of voodoo magic in order to get the freaking door unlocked. <laughs> it's so much fun. I'm on the churches of Pedro in El Dorado and we were not able to bring back the empire along with the gold. Myself and my team were lost to this. I wish that was a joke. Number nine. What is your favorite part about game mastering? Well, I'll tell you guys pretty much what I told my boss whenever I was being interviewed for this job. Something that's really important to me is making sure that every person who I meet feels a bit more loved whenever they leave. I think loving yourself is a very important part of human nature, and I feel like playing in an escape game is a good way to get to know yourself from someone else's perspective, because we have this kind of idea of us from what we know in our head. But whenever you're in this immersive experience playing puzzles, you get to find out how smart you really are, how fun you can be, and how well you interact with the people around you. And I feel like everyone who leaves just knows themselves a little bit better. And that is by far my favorite part, is watching customers leave with a smile on their face, just feeling a little bit better about themselves. Well, mushy part over. All right, well, from what you can see during this video, I am nothing but a professional and take my job very, very seriously. But just in case you still didn't get it, I actually put in a little bonus clip in the ending credits just for you. But before we play it, I just want to say how much I love my job. Game mastering is the best job I've ever had. It's the only one that I can wake up and think about in the morning and actually be excited to go to. So I just want to thank my boss for just taking me on with this amazing job. If you vibe with me like I vibe with game mastering, then you want to vote for me for game master of the year. You can do that by liking this video and leaving a comment once a day. For each comment, I will give this very, very good boy one treat. Isn't that right, Betty? Bye, thank you. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with a finger and a thumb and the shape of an L on her forehead.